it's Maddie. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And as you can tell by the title of this video, it is What Maddie Got for Christmas 2022. Again, I don't do these videos to brag, to say, hey, look at me. I get all this stuff. Um, I do it to kind of share things that I um, either purchased with money that was given to me, things that I was given to see if maybe somebody would like to get this for themselves. And honestly, I watch a lot of these other people's Christmas videos too because of the fact that if I see something that some really neat item that might be useful in my life that somebody else got for Christmas, like I might actually want to buy it myself. And oftentimes people will say where they got the item from or who, um, where that person got the item for them. So it can be really helpful in kind of making your life a little more convenient or easy if you like certain things like to be organized or certain clothing items or whatever, uh, what have you not. But um, anyways, um, I will show you everything I got for Christmas again. Um, I really was ungodly blessed. I'm always blessed. Blessed would be an understatement as to how many wonderful things I got for Christmas. I'm looking at my pile over here and thinking to myself how loved I am. But in turn, I give that love to other people, okay? Like, I go out and I spread generosity and kindness as much as I can to as many people as I can throughout the year. I do homeless shelters. I do some giveaways for you guys, which I really should do another one because I hit 3,000 subscribers. I should do some more diabetes-related stuff, maybe. Um, or maybe just some random ones that people can use, like Amazon or Target or something. I don't know. I'll figure something out for you guys. Um, but um, I try to share and live generously and live by Christ. And the beauty of Christmas is, is the true meaning behind it is that God loved this world so incredibly much that he wanted us to have a chance to live with him in heaven. So he brought Jesus through Mary on this earth 2022 years ago so that we could have eternal life with Christ and knowing that there is a better life beyond the life that we live here. And Christmas should be a time to really enjoy your family, enjoy the quality time, and share the love and generosity that God wants us to be to others. Um, what you And I totally believe what you give comes back to you tenfold. Um, let me tell you, when I was growing up, I was not rich. Um, and I'm, I'm just talking from a financial standpoint. Some people have other things that go on in their life too. Emotional. I've had a lot, some emotional stuff too. Okay. Don't get me wrong. I have a past like everybody else does, but growing up as a child, despite when things were financially difficult, we always made a way to give back to somebody else in some way, shape or form. Like I would have been the person if I only had, I remember going through even high school and college. Yeah, I mean, I was very careful about how I spent things, but if I only had $5 to my name in my bank account and there was somebody ahead of me in line who I knew was socioeconomically worse off than I was and was struggling to pay the last $5 for their grocery bill, you know what I would do? I would be, pay that. And I still, to this day, will do that. If I see people, like, I had this happen to me last year, sometime like in summer of 2022, some lady literally could not afford $16.94 for groceries. And I paid for it. And I told her, I said, this is called paying it for. This is called living like Christ. I said, what I want you to do. I said, you may not be able to financially support somebody. I said, six, I said I was in your shoes where $16.94, sometimes it's all I had left to spend. Um, and I was in your shoes before. I said, all I'd like you to do, I said, is not much of a request. I said, just pay the kindness and the generosity back to somebody else in some other way. Maybe it's, I told her, so maybe it's mowing your neighbor's grass. Maybe it's just making a plate of cookies and going to your elderly neighbor and saying, hey, how were you doing? Maybe that's all that person really needs. I said, show that kindness back to somebody else. And this woman walked out in tears. I said, this is, this is the kind of love that Christianity should be spreading. And this is the kind of love that I feel back at Christmas because of how lucky and blessed I am to have so many people in my life that love me to pieces and care about me to pieces and want to ensure that I'm happy and I turn around and spread that love and that happiness and that generosity back to other people. It, it truly is more rewarding and more gratifying to give than it is to receive. And um, let me tell you, when I give, I receive back so much more than I could ever expect. And some days, in a financial standpoint, from several years back, if 
there was a struggle financially, I remember thinking to myself, like, how are we going to do it? And by the grace of God, God provided for us. Um, even if it was like, oh my gosh, um, something like a blessing of somebody gave me an extra hundred dollars or something, or I, you know, with me, what was really a blessing in college is all of a sudden financially, I'm getting into some other stuff now. I obviously could start making money off of YouTube. And that was a, a beautiful way to not only help my family, but I turned around and was giving to other people through that. So, um, ironically, I'll, I'll finish the story about the lady that I paid the $16.94 with last summer for her groceries. Two weeks later, um, my work, my, uh, my boss, uh, his daughter used to go to a Catholic school and he would put, uh, gave us each tickets to put into these drawings. They, every week, every Sunday, this school would draw two winners that would win $50 each. And let me tell you, within two weeks, I got a letter and a check saying here's $50. So not trying to say that what might come back to you might not be financial, but in this case for me, it kind of was, and it was kind of like, wow, you know, like to think that like that came back to me and that came back to me tenfold, it, it was just incredible. Um, so anyways, I'll stop making this sappy story that one, it makes me kind of cry because the, how much love that there is in my heart and the heart of people around me. Um, I'll show exactly what I got for Christmas here in 2023. So with that being said, let's get into this I'm going to pull things randomly. I'm not going to say exactly who they're from, but I will start with gift cards and cash that I got. So I had a lot of cash this Christmas or quite a bit. I got gift cards to Barnes Noble, Amazon, Target, Chick-fil-A, Hobby Lobby, and Michaels. So I got a variety there. Um, I will be able to show you some of the items I bought from most of these stores. Amazon, I'll just put a list here of things I bought. Most of it was just household cleaning items and a jewelry organizer that my mom desperately needed. So I kind of did that for her. So again, paying it back tenfold. For Target, I had two different gift cards and I put it towards this beautiful Cricut um, bright smart pad thing. I'll put a picture here. I would go grab it, but it's in the other room kind of stored away. Um, so that's another big purchase I wanted for crafting. Barnes & Noble, I actually got two different books. From Barnes & Noble, I had a gift card and I was able to get two books. So this first one is And There Was Light, uh, written by John John Meacham. And it's based on Abraham Lincoln and the American Struggle. If y'all don't know, uh, I guess I'll give you a little backstory as to something about me. Maybe I haven't said yet, but I'm kind of obsessed with studying the Civil War. And Abraham Lincoln is by far my favorite president. So I thought this book would be interesting to read a little bit about his life. And a lot of it's actually beautiful because now that I'm scrolling through there's a lot of gorgeous pictures and kind of the whole story behind his uh, upbringing as president so um, that's that book and then the other book I got was the miraculous stories of the healing power of prayer and faith will still move mountains this is by Harris Faulkner and this book kind of took me by surprise because I again I want to really continue to to press my faith and continue to strengthen my relationship with God and you know what's funny is through reading and doing acts of service and really just sitting and thinking how blessed I am and really just appreciating every little thing I have. I have really gotten deeper rooted with Jesus and with God our Father more than ever. So I ended up buying this book because I thought it would be an interesting read to my uh, Christianity kind of collection and Christianity uh, values and morals. Cash. I actually spent it at Natural Life, which is a bohemian store. I really like it for clothing and different items and things like that. Um, I actually ended up buying my one friend um some items from there uh for christmas because they were kind of her thing um she's kind of a pink orange horse girl and she ended up getting me some items in here i'm not going to show exactly like who got me what again just because like it doesn't matter to me who gets you what and how much people give you like to me like i am so appreciative and grateful that somebody would take the time out of their day to think of me and that means a lot more than just anything in general so um anyways i'll put some pictures of some stuff i bought from natural life i ended up buying a beautiful butterfly figure <laughs> butterfly uh thing like um what's the thing that you put on your car that makes it smell good like one of those little trees well um i put i have one of those for my car i ended up buying a beautiful blue dress as well as some beautiful flare pants i did go through my whole entire closet and clean that and rearrange that maybe i'll do a closet tour um i dumped all my clothing and reorganized a bunch of things that i didn't necessarily need and one of the few things that i do need is some dressier pants because most of the dressier pants I own are too large for me. So I kind of just donated them. So I ended up buying this beautiful kind of goldish colored floral pants. I'm not big into yellows and or and gold colored like to wear personally. 
but I kind of liked it and it was a little bit of a softer kind of sunflower yellow so I ended up buying it anyway so you'll see that in the mixture here um, as well as a few other items that were on sale um, from them so you'll see that kind of all listed here so that's what I ended up getting with the Michaels cat. again I'm going to put a picture here I put um, the card I got towards this item that I've always been wanting to kind of condense all my art supplies into one it is basically a modular shelf storage with like seven different drawers and a big flat top so that my Cricut does not have to rest on the floor <laughs> um, and don't worry it wasn't ever stepped on but I just kind of want to condense all these little plastic containers I have for all my crafting stuff into kind of one or two areas and hopefully using this one set um, I got it for a really really good deal um, is going to be able to kind of condense my art stuff and make things a little bit easier. So I put it towards something I really, really wanted. So um, that's where that came from. And then I guess, um, I guess now I'll also show what I got from Hobby Lobby. Quite a few things on sale, so I was able to get quite a bit. Um, one item is going to be shipped because they didn't have it in store to my home. It is a like organizing thing for drawers. And again, I'll probably put it in one of my art drawers. Um, I ended up getting some art tape which art tape is really good for it's kind of like masking tape but it basically allows you to block off things so that you can paint different areas um i have a lot of acrylic paint but truly my little tubes of black and white have been gone so i ended up picking up a each a tube of black and white acrylic paint and some patholo um it's called patholo cyan blue but we just call it patholo blue uh patholo blue is the main color that is used to make that beautiful aqua color um, so I needed that as a base and I use that a lot for my water scenes and things like that. Um, this patholo blue as dark as it is will kind of make a color similar to this if you guys can imagine kind of that teal color even a little bit more vibrant than that. So that's what that one is for. Um, I found some mailers which I know sounds really cheesy that I probably could have bought these elsewhere but they were only like 89 cents a piece so I bought three of them so that I can um, mail anything that might be fragile um, or any type of artwork that people might Want me to do for them i can mail them their um portrait out so i have those because i was out and then as well as i ended up finding the cutest valentine's <laughs> so christmas maddie and you're buying valentine's things i ended up buying the cute finding the cutest thing to add to my uh, decor for my bedroom i'm like the girl that decorates so it says be mine and then it's just all puffy hearts and like puff balls and hearts and it's so soft and it's i like the pink colors especially the dark pink i really like um but it was just super cute and actually it's kind of in a twine and right now it's tied up but imagine uh, once this twine is all gone it'll kind of lay really open kind of like a party banner so and it's all soft and squishy so it won't get wrecked or damaged so that is what I ended up getting from Hobby Lobby and Michael's there. In my stocking for my grandparents I'll put a picture here but I ended up getting a Starbucks gift card as well as some candy. Uh, vanilla Burt's Bees lip balm and these wonderful pair of socks. So if y'all don't know about me like I love anything kind of fun socks. And honest to God, from Christmas through my grandparents throughout all the years when they do our stocking and then they also get their grandkids each a gift and there's 26 of us. We, um, I never ever have to buy myself socks or lip balm or lotion or candy. So it's the best at Christmas. So these are the socks I got this year and they're super soft. They have kind of like a red and white kind of overlapped kind of. I wouldn't even want to call it, I don't want to call it a marble pattern, but I want to call it that speckling pattern, and they're super soft. It'd be super awesome to put in boots, so those are the socks I ended up getting. And then I also got these two packs of Women's Cabin Mucklucks. These are made in Milwaukee. Um, obviously, my friend must know that I love the color purple, so I ended up getting this lighter purple one that has kind of a geometric pattern and snowflakes on it, and the other darker purple, and they're super soft, and again, nice to keep me warm, so... Again, I don't ever have to worry about buying anything related to um, socks. I got this gorgeous throw, and same with blankets. Like I have so many blankets, and I love getting extra blankets in my collection. I have this got this gorgeous throw as well. It's kind of a floral pattern on one side, and I actually kind of like the floral pattern because it almost kind of looks like the jumping jacks, which are kind of like my favorite spring flower, that purple yellow pattern. Um, and she, uh, also I ended up getting because of that teal color. But on the back is kind of like a checker pattern yellow. Um, and again, I'm not a huge yellow person, but I actually really like this yellow because it's more of that sunflower yellow. It's a little bit duller. It's not so over bright. And I think this will be a fun one to keep out on my bed for Easter time and springtime. So I actually used it last night for the first time and it has this super cute fringe on it. It's just super soft and it's kind of, it feels to me more like a rug. 
more than like a blanket, but it is a nice throw because it has that different, like, I don't want to call it a rug because it's not a rug, but it has that rug kind of texture to it where it's very heavy and very nice to just throw over and not worry about like messing up. So I have this as well. I got a pair of some leopard leggings, which if you guys don't know me, I love leggings and I used to have an obsession with leopard print when I was like nine and 10. I no longer have that, but I thought these were super cute to get from somebody because I don't actually own a pair of leggings like this. Um, I like fun leggings. So, um, and I have a pair of leopard print leggings that I can kind of use and relive my childhood a little bit. They're kind of cool. Um, I like that it's a little bit of not the overpowering leopard print. It's not like the dark on the white base. It's the light color on the dark. So it won't jump out as much as say like <laughs> something super over the top, but being a Polish girl, I can mismatch all I want, right? So I always love getting these from people. I don't ever have to buy myself any type of cordless headphones. I have a set of headphones from previous Christmases as well, but these are the DSW Bluetooth True Wireless Earbuds. And again, I like to keep these in a backpack, keep these in a purse. Um, so that if I can't ever find one set, I always have something else here. So I got the socks I got, which I'm super excited to have as well. Um, these are patriotic theme socks. I don't have a pair of patriotic theme socks yet, so I can wear these, um, for my golf scramble that I do, or 4th of July, or Memorial Day when I'm out walking, doing cemetery duties through the ALA. It's gonna be super fun to have these. So, I also have some patriotic theme socks. Again, you guys, I absolutely love getting socks. I know it sounds wild, but if you got me so many socks for Christmas, like, I would just be in love because I love fun socks. I'm weird, right? So then the typical things from my godmother, which I absolutely always love, is the Lifesavers candy. And I save these for Lowe's. And I always like that they come in a little box. And then they always tell like a little story. Um, this one is talking about Len Lily and Benny, the children. Um, so they always include a little Christmas story in there. And then as well as my godchild ornament this year for 2022, it is a little fawn with a little blue ribbon and a star on it. And it's super cute. Look at it. I love it. I kind of like that the fawn's face is turned backwards. Um, the only thing I found that was a little bit different this year is that they actually have the year 2022 on the ribbon. I'm normally used to seeing like the year like placed on the, um, the actual figurine or like on the star. It was just kind of interesting to see it on the ribbon. So hopefully I don't ever have that ribbon fall off. Otherwise it's going to be a problem and I don't know what year it's from. Box as well of candy. Um, my mom got a raccoon as well as I ended up with a unicorn duck and a cardinal ornament. So I'll put a picture of that here. Um, that was kind of a precursor Christmas. I really, really enjoyed that. And the candy didn't last long, so <laughs> props. <laughs> you can't ever never go wrong with giving this girl any type of food or candy for Christmas. It won't last. My mom's long. friend, I guess I will, and my friend as well, I guess I will kind of point her out a little bit. For my birthday, she started getting me this set. Um, for my birthday, she started getting me this set of different items for um, a nativity, and it's crocheted. So I ended up with my baby Jesus, my Joseph um, figurine, as well as my Mary. And for Christmas, I got the rest of the set this year, and I just about flipped the biscuit to see how cute this crocheted set is. You guys, I got all the animals and all the wise men. Wait till you guys see this. Look at the camels that were all hand crocheted. They have their own harness and their own little back saddle. There's three of them for the three wise men. Look how adorable. And then look at my, look at my ox. Isn't he cute? And look at my donkey and my sheepies and they got bells. Okay, that's the adorable. And then my wise men. I'm in love with anything related to the nativity. Always have been as a little kid. For one year, my grandparents, probably before I started YouTube, probably in 2017 or 18, they ended up, maybe 2016, they got me the Fontanini uh, Christmas Story kind of flattened ornaments collection with like the wise men, Mary, and Joseph and Jesus, as well as the shepherds and the angels kind of depicting the story about how each one ended up finding Jesus and how Jesus ended up escaping to Egypt with his family to avoid being killed. Um... Those types of things. So I'm obsessed with anything nativity. And but anyways, you guys, look at these wise men. So I will always take anything nativity wise. And I found this gift super unique because of the fact that I don't have a set of crocheted uh, nativity. And what's nice is I like that they're really safe if you have little kids over, 
or even if an animal were to get a hold of this, they're probably not going to do anything, but maybe ended up shredding a little bit of the yarn. But look how much time and intricacy that this friend's, uh, I guess it was technically my, my friend's daughter-in-law's sister. So I guess this kind of extended friend, she did all these. She lives on the western part of the Wisconsin. Like, look how much time and talent it takes for her to make all of this you guys i'm in awe of how beautifully well thought out this gift is and this is the kind of stuff that makes my heart happy because not only is it from the heart it's homemade and is about the meaning of christmas so i couldn't be any more happier with all my little guys for my nativity set so that's probably one of my favorite things as far as that was like gifted in a very sentimental kind of fashion i guess um <laughs> anything related to jesus getting a um shower speaker this is kind of a thing that i was trying to think of for an idea for my grandparents for christmas and again i really am not trying to share like who ended up getting me what gifts because i'm not trying to do that i'm just trying to like keep myself straight but this was one of these things that i'm like i don't know what to ask for christmas because i'm really bad at like figuring out what to ask for because i'm one of these people that doesn't expect people to get me things and then i end up getting stuff anyways because people know me so well that they find stuff that I don't buy for myself um <laughs> so I kind of thought like okay what's an easy item that like I've always wanted that like I'd love to have for Christmas and love to have in my life that I don't necessarily buy so it was a this is the SoundBot shower speaker so I'll be putting this in my shower eventually so I can play music in the shower because I love listening to music I got a can of SpaghettiOs won't complain about that it's a free meal to be honest with you I was actually kind of like oh this is a cool little stocking stuffer um honest to god have not had spaghettios in probably 10 years so this will be fun then um this is a goat's milk um shaving bar um co-worker of my mother's does has goat farm and she makes me goat cheese all the time and sends it home and then she makes goat lotion and then she gave us two bars of this um of this shaving lotion or shaving bar and it's made of goat's milk and it's designed for you to place on your body so you can shave your legs. I'm super excited to use it and it smells kind of like a lavender floral scent. Really, really mild, very natural smelling and I really like it. So I can't wait to actually use that again. These are like gifts I appreciate. I don't have to buy myself lotion or lip balm or socks. Y'all, I get it all right here. Of popcorn from my friend with a super cute little doggy on it and some cardinals and snow mint. So I can't wait to actually eat this. I think there's three different types of popcorn in here. I lied. Two. Caramel and white cheddar butter popcorn. So, I'll be eating that as well. It's butterfly puzzle. And I put it together and I framed it because I couldn't resist. So, I'm going to hang it up on my wall. <laughs> um, this is a pretty intricate puzzle. It had a lot of different sizes, pieces to it. Even some that were a little bit more shaped like butterflies. And um, some were even shaped like insects too, which was kind of fun. Like actual like insects besides butterflies. So, um, this frame kind of uh, frames it just well so it doesn't slide around in here, it doesn't jostle, so I can actually hang this up on my wall and look at it. Ended up getting some cat treats for my uh, cat um, from a friend, and Mr. Monkey does like them. Tinkerbell is not a fan of cat treats, but Monkey did like them. I did open them. These are the Temptations Dairy Flavored with a crunchy outside, soft inside, so they're a good little treat for Mr. Monkey. Um, I ended up also getting a mythographic Color and Discover Dreamweaver adult coloring book, and I'm obsessed with the amount of insects, flowers, butterflies, mythical creatures, sea creatures, wolves, natural type things that are in this mythographic Dreamweaver book. Um, so there's, you can tell there's a lot of flowers and animals, kind of all up my alley, birds. Um, there's also a swan, and I saw on this cover page I kind of oohed and out over the swan at one point. Um, I do have a swan piece of art that I did, but at one point I was honest to God obsessed with swans and I had all my backgrounds on my phone and my iPod as swans. That was like a long, long time ago. I still love swans and all those different things, but this is just a gorgeous book. Like, I mean, to look at the intricacy of all these beautiful pieces in here, there's even some mythical like creatures and like goddesses and fairies. I cannot wait to color this. So this was a super, super fun gift idea. I also got another blanket. This one is a Bitterford Comfort Knit heated blanket because I always complain how cold I am. 
So my mama picked this up for me. Um, and I can't wait to actually use this. I don't know if I'll use it this year because we're kind of wrapping up super cold weather, but it's Wisconsin, so maybe it'll get cold again. But I have so many blankets, but I actually like the idea of having one that's heated. So um, I'll have to see how this works, but I ended up getting this for Christmas as well. Honest to God, you can't ever, never give me any too many socks, blankets, candies, lip balm, or lotion in my realm because I love it so much. So that is that. I got this beautiful, you guessed it, nativity ornament from my friend. And I can't believe how gorgeous this is. It is like a stained glass pattern and it's smooth and I love the colors in it. And actually, if you look at each individual um, kind of square area, it actually tells the story of Jesus and kind of the birth of Jesus. There's angels and shepherds and camels. It's like, if you look really closely, I don't know if you guys could see that, but there's the stable and then there's all these different um like the oxen and things like that the angels there's your shepherds and wise men up top so it is such a beautiful piece of art i actually absolutely love this um, and again the colors the artistry it's very very mosaic like i love like i said anything you can't ever go wrong with anything related to jesus when it comes to me so this ornament is very special to me so i cannot wait um, to keep using this year after year another thing i also got was this really cute bucket hat with a butterfly on it of course can't ever go wrong with the butterfly and the light blue coloration with me but if you guys don't know when I was a little kid I used to rock a bucket hat and I think I still rock one so I got this as well for Christmas super excited to wear this in kind of the spring summertime it's not really a winter type hat but I always I guess I said I always had like bucket hats as a kid and I don't think I, th I say I think they're really nice because they're a little different than ball caps I do wear those in the summer as well, but this will be good for like gardening or just adventuring outside. Like with the bucket hats, you can kind of tip the edges up to make it kind of fun and not so like push down. <laughs> so if you guys don't think I rock a bucket hat, I guess leave a comment. <laughs> I don't, I, I mean, I used to wear them all the time as a kid, but to have one that's like butterfly themed, it's super cool. Got this really cool, another book. It's a pop-up butterfly book and I'm pretty sure it came with the sticker, but you literally open it up and it's all butterflies everywhere you guys like i'm obsessed you can't ever go wrong again with me and butterflies like it's just so pretty <laughs> i i may or may not have an obsession with butterflies <laughs> is it pretty evident to me um but i was actually in awe to get this book i thought how how neat you know it's so artistic and i actually kind of had an idea at one point like trying to create some pop-up art um i just don't know if i have enough um I don't want to say not enough talent, but I don't think I have enough um, complex thinking to really think about that kind of stuff for art. So maybe I'll try making my own pop-up book, but I really like this. This is just, it's fun. Um, you can just open it up and like, if I want to look at spring or think of spring, I just have to look at these butterflies. There's even a gigantic one in here somewhere. I think I keep missing it. This is apparently the biggest butterfly in the whole wide world, the Queen Alexandria's Birdwing. And literally, this if this is a real life butterfly, I want to meet it of how huge this butterfly is. Um, there aren't many left in the wild. They live in one single rainforest. It's exactly as big as these pages. Oh my. I'd love to meet one of these. So <laughs> if anybody can get me, a, get me a resource to go meet this butterfly, let me know. Some more socks, you guys. Again, I'm obsessed. Dental socks that I've never seen before. What I really like about these, besides the fact that it's got dental stuff on it, there's also a here a hem either it's either a hemostat or a um, crown prep um, pair of forceps. So I think it's kind of cool. We incorporated a little bit of restorative dentistry in these dental socks. Super cute. Um, as well as these are Christmas socks. These are cats with socks in the or cats in Christmas socks. And then of course I actually don't own any of these but look at they're butterflies I'm I'm obsessed like look how pretty I mean I love the blue colored butterflies too so super excited for that I ended up getting a Virginia candle company candle and it smells like apples you guys like I opened this and I literally immediately think like summer and spring it literally smells like I'm going outside and I'm going to go pick apples. It also kind of smells maybe fallish a little bit because like you associate with like baking apple pies and stuff. I would say it could be either, but I really can't wait to burn this candle. Um, again, 
candles always another good option for me so I um I really don't I mean I buy some from like Bath and Body Works but I like getting candles from other people too and then I also which I've already put together I'll put a picture here it is a geo puzzle of the state of Virginia and it was in this little can and I honestly um thought it was kind of funny when I um opened the can up there was an additional piece so I ended up um yeah, I ended up saving the piece, and I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but they ended up throwing me an extra piece in there of the corner of Tennessee, where the very southwestern part of Virginia is. So I don't, I don't really know if somebody's missing their piece that I have it, but... The final thing I got, which was in this box here, is this beautiful moon, crescent moon necklace, which I'll show a close-up picture of here. The chain is super fine. It's gold, it's gold colored. I guess gold color would be the, the way to call it. It's not like the typical silver chain, you know, things that I would um, normally be wearing that you guys would probably see me wear. But this is gold color and I really don't own a lot of gold colored, like, actual things. So this was super cool to get. And if y'all don't know, I'm obsessed with astronomy and especially studying the moon. And things like that in the moon phases as you probably could tell by my beautiful phone case here um so i was really excited to get something that was a little bit more of a piece of me that i again i don't ever think to like buy myself or like think of um this is a really fine chain necklace and again i'm going to put a close-up of the actual uh, moon here but it's a crescent moon which is my favorite it's a really fine flat chain um and it, go it goes to about right about here on the middle of my neck so um, it was kind of hard to get used to the fine chain at first, but now that I'm wearing it a little bit more, it feels comfortable. So, um, anyways, I think this pretty much wraps up everything that I got for Christmas, and if I missed anything, uh, oopsie. <laughs> um, but I think I pretty much hit everything, and, um, to say that I'm blessed is an understatement. I am so, so thankful for the amount of wonderful people that I have in my life that support me and love me for who I am, and, um... Thank you for <laughs> making my Christmas wonderful and thank you for watching this video and supporting me here on YouTube. And again, I owe you guys a lot and I owe you guys a huge a continual apology for not getting these videos up sooner. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, give it a big thumbs up. Feel free to hit that subscribe button. I post as often as I can about type 1 diabetes plus more. Please stay tuned. I have a lot more videos coming out. I want to do a review on a one particular product I find very helpful for low blood sugars. So stay tuned for that. Um, as well as other videos from me will be coming out this year. So until next time, for another video, take care, God bless, be kind, spread positivity, and be thankful. And remember, the true meaning of Christmas is not what you get from other people. It is the joy and the love that you can spread of being like Christ to others. So I will see you guys in my next video. Always keep your faith strong and know that no matter where life may take you, that God is on your side. So I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.